Could your persistent chronic health condition be caused by Lyme? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Ask Dr. Pakel Show. And today we want to talk about Lyme and seven conditions, seven uh, health issues that may be actually misdiagnosed. You may have been diagnosed with a condition and you've just lived that way and you've been prescribed things and taken things and done things to try to help that condition that continues to occur, continues to not resolve and cause you symptoms. And then like many patients that we have to find out later that it was Lyme the whole time and you wish you would have known years ago. So let's find out more about this. So number one, what type of symptoms can be related to this? There are the classical Lyme symptoms, but it doesn't always have to be the classical ones. So what you may commonly see is the joint pain, um, the fatigue, meaning you know, you're tired all day, you don't sleep well at night, uh, or the fatigue could change during the day, your energy level may be up and down, headaches, flu-like symptoms, or even night sweats rashes and those rashes don't always just stay in one place sometimes it'll be a rash that's always in the same spot sometimes it can be what's called a migrating rash where it moves around brain fog uh yeah focus concentration memory all these things sleep issues whether it's hard to fall asleep or you're waking up a lot anxiety depression people get diagnosed with those things all the time little to find out that there are potentially other problems Migrating pain, meaning the pain doesn't always stay in the same place. It moves around to other areas. And it wasn't like I hit my knee, but now I have knee pain. And then I wake up tomorrow morning and now I have shoulder pain. So again, this is migrating pain. Tremors, swollen lymph nodes, numbness and tingling, heart racing. These are only a few of the common symptoms that go along with Lyme. So the thing is, is if you have some of these, yeah, there's a potential, but these can match a lot of different conditions. So it's finding out more uh, too with this. All right, so what are some common diagnoses that people are given that finally turn out to be Lyme? Well, a big one that we see a lot of is chronic fatigue syndrome. The ME is myalgic encephalomyelitis, which is another diagnosis given for chronic fatigue. But many people with chronic fatigue syndrome or just chronic fatigue that have never been diagnosed Absolutely, Lyme and its co-infections can be a factor. Fibromyalgia, extremely common, misdiagnosed, and ends up being Lyme, especially with the migrating pains, chronic muscle and joint issues, yeah, and so many of the other symptoms. And a lot of times these two will go together. Rheumatoid arthritis, yeah, where does Lyme like to attack? It likes to attack the joints. Or if it's living in the joints, your immune system starts to attack those locations. So now it's diagnosed as an autoimmune condition. The doctor says, oh, your immune system is attacking your joints. We don't really know why it's just happening. So let's suppress your immune system with this. And the thing is though is why? Why is my immune system attacking my joints? It's not just willy-nilly doing it for no reason. All right, lupus, yeah. Now your immune system is attacking your organs or uh, connective tissue, things like this, other areas that Lyme can invade. And then multiple sclerosis is Lyme attacking the brain. Very common. Lyme loves to attack the brain in the central nervous system. Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So again, attacking the brain, the nervous system. If we attack more of these dopamine areas of the brain or motor areas of the brain, yeah, we can start to get... Parkinson's issues, if we attack more of the temporal lobe of the brain, these memory areas of the brain, the hippocampus, even the frontal lobe, uh, yeah, Alzheimer's. Brain fog, very common. This is a sign of brain inflammation. Memory loss, headaches and migraines. Again, back to brain inflammation. And then other autoimmune conditions. There are more autoimmune conditions that can be listed. Is Lyme involved with many of these? It's always possible. I'm not saying that Lyme is the cause of all these things. What I'm saying is that it's a potential. If you've suffered or you're still suffering with chronic issues that just don't go away, you've got to investigate Lyme. And here's the problem is if you go into your typical uh, doctor and you say, hey, I want to run a test for Lyme, 
Yeah, even if they run an antibody test for Lyme, rarely does it show up. It doesn't test well. The testing is not there yet. The testing is not specific. It hasn't been developed. There have been some newer ways to test for Lyme, and even these don't work that well. It's very... Lyme testing is extremely famous for um, false negatives. So, in fact, I've got another video on that if you get a chance to watch that. And then, uh, you know, the other thing is, is if you do find out you have Lyme, what do you do about it? How do you help it? Um, so, also, there's another video that I wanted to point you to uh, that you definitely need to watch that goes into this a lot more in depth a lot further not only more of these symptoms because there's a whole giant list even other diagnoses but also what to do about it or what we do about it to help our patients who have these types of issues all right hopefully everybody got some great information out of this god bless and i'll see you on the next uh, video here